Billy Luna. Breaking news from the streets. I have it on good authority that tomorrow, Skinny Joey Merlino on his podcast, The Skinny, will reveal that YouTuber is a rat. Now, I'm going to throw in the word alleged here because this information comes on good authority from the streets. I'm getting this from the streets. What's going to happen tomorrow on Joey's show is he's going to basically accuse Jeff Lohman of being a rat. And if Joey follows his typical MO, he's going to show proof because that's how Joey usually does it. He'll accuse somebody. He'll show the proof. Then he puts them in the trunk and buries them. That's generally how Joey gets down. Please subscribe to the Billy Luna channel and like the video. Thank you. Word on the street is that Joey has new information about Jeff Lohman being a rat. What makes this kind of crazy is that this guy Jeff Lohman with his YouTube channel has built his whole presence on hating rats and being anti-rat. This whole thing started not that long ago when somebody on Joey's chat asked him, what do you think of Jeff Canarsi? And Joey's response at first was, who? I don't know. And then Snuff tried to clarify and Joey's like, oh yeah, that guy was at my trial. He's okay as far as I know. So that was the comment, whatever. This guy, Jeff Lohman, took it and went crazy. He, on his show, he said, Joey's a friend of mine. I tried to call him. He ignores me. He won't admit he's my friend. And then he's, he, he went on during the show to say, F- Joey Merlino. I think he said it four times. Really bizarre, bizarre stuff. So here's the thing about YouTube. YouTube has this proliferation of rats, what I call the rataverse. You know, the most popular individuals on YouTube are informants, such as Michael Franzese and Sammy the Bull Gravano. Now, we'll get way into this later, and it's very interesting to me that, you know, Michael Franzi says he's not a rat, but of course he is. And it's and then we have, of course, the Dorkiverse, what I call it, the, the mob tube Dorkiverse, which is populated by these kind of like dorky guys who, you know, scrape Wikipedia. And a lot of these guys kind of like maybe they appear to be kind of like street guys or they talk like they're street guys, and they, they kind of take on this persona of being like, you know, characters they saw on The Sopranos or something. And what I've noticed is that they talk really tough. And they, in their chats, they, uh, they get raw, they get tough with people in the chats and they, 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 they love to fight in the chats and they're like, come on, bring it on. And then they'll kick people out of the chats. And then, but what happens with these individuals is when they tangle with the real tough guy, they seem to capitulate and fold like a cheap deck of cards real quick and almost cry on camera and then like take the video down when they said it or whatever. And it's like, listen, okay, it's, there's a lot of non-tough guys who can do very well on YouTube. Stay in your lane, but don't pretend to be something you're not. If you're a rat, a lot of rats can do really well on YouTube. Just admit it. You know, and, you know, there's some rats we've seen are some of the most popular channels on YouTube. Go with it. If you're not a tough guy, don't pretend you're a tough guy. Don't act tough. Don't talk tough. Don't do all this stuff unless you're ready to be a tough guy and take it to where it goes. Because I just see this over and over again. Now, this guy, Jeff Lohman, he supposedly hated rats so much, yet there's pictures of him hanging out in a pool with John A. Light. Now, John A. Light is a rat. He doesn't say he's not. He freely admits it. Well, just be honest. What are you? You're a rat. At least John A. Light knows he's a rat. He says he's a rat. But, you know, this guy, Jeff Lohman, if what Joey is alleging is true, it's like, it's funny that he's like, you know, so anti-rat, and then he's hanging out with the rat, John A. Light, as you can see in these pictures. And then, you know, he, you know, if it comes full circle that he, in fact, is a rat himself that's pretty wild but not unlike stuff in the world that we see all the time it's kind of like thou doth protest too much you know (laughs) you talk too much about rats well what are you hiding are you a rat in psychology there's a concept known as projection you know what i'm going to do i'm going to read to you right now the psychology today definition of what projection is 
Projection is the process of displacing one's feelings onto another person. The term is most commonly used to describe defensive projection, attributing one's own unacceptable urges to another. For ex an example, if someone continuously bullies and ridicules a peer about his insecurities, the bully might be projecting his own struggle with self-esteem onto the other person. It, it's a Freudian concept from back in the day. And in this instance, if one goes on and on about one's hatred of rats, wouldn't it be interesting if we find out that that one was in fact a rat? That is classic projection. Is that what we're dealing with here? Let me know what everybody thinks about this in the comments. So on YouTube, what we have primarily is we have the Rataverse and then the MobTube Dorkaverse. You know, we got the Rataverse and it's the usual suspects of these informants who are reliving their glory days of, you know, being tough guys and gangsters and kind of acting like it and talking like it. And then you got the Dorkaverse and they're a bunch of like these dorky guys who aren't gangsters and they're just kind of scraping Wikipedia and regurgitating information that they can, you know, gleam. Into this comes skinny Joey Merlino. Joey is so interesting and his story is so captivating, just his basic story, but the fact that he is so real and just is so upfront about it is is refreshing he has and i mean and he also has this bone deep hatred of rats true bone deep hatred now joey's true about everything joey doesn't write his show he doesn't script his show he just goes out and spits it off the top of his head that's refreshing who can do that you think that's easy that's not easy and you know snuff and joey work well together because joey's kind of this outrageous figure he's got great jokes he's wild and snuff is more the straight guy and you know you always need a kind of straight guy to balance out a stronger personality and that's it's always the case in comedy and anything you need the straight man and snuff is that straight man and snuff is a younger guy snuff is not from the streets snuff came up in the neighborhood but you know snuff also comes and he brings he's young and he brings a certain like kind of innocence to it. He doesn't know the story. So he's kind of like the everyman. He, the, the watcher can really identify with Snuff because Joey is imparting all of these interesting stories upon him. And so, you know, back to Joey in terms of his bone deep hatred of rats. Why? Why, why does Joey have a bone deep hatred of rats? Is it to be cool? No. Listen, <laughs> rats, informants, have put Joey in a cage. And that's something like fake tough guys don't understand. They don't understand a lot of things. One thing they don't understand is being put into a cage for long periods of time. And, you know, Joey's father died in prison at the age of 73. This is, you know, in his blood. This is bone deep. This is, and there's no, there's no two ways about it. People who are in this camp and have this kind of understanding of what informants and rats, what kind of damage they can do. There's no halfway. There's no always kind of a rat, this, that, the other. It's black and white. If you're a rat, put them in the trunk, bury them. End of freaking story. I mean, metaphorically speaking. I'm going to do a lot more shows about Joey. I'm fascinated by his story. You know, I've been doing a ton of Joey content and that's just going to continue and continue and continue. And I'm going to do some stuff about, you know, Joey's identified enemies too. And I, I, I'm fascinated by that. Let me know what everybody thinks about all this in the comments. A topic that I really want to get way more into is the idea of the abuses of the system when they utilize rats, informants, to put people in prison. These guys they're dealing with are really very dangerous and evil. And the government is subsidizing these guys. Okay. Let's take, for instance, a guy that Joey talks about. And I'm going to talk way more about this. I'm going to deep dive everything we're touching on here in a later video. And I have a lot of this in kind of my previous videos. So check those out too. But the guy, JR, John Rubio, you know, this guy was bankrolled by the government to be a snitch. The U.S. government paid JR more than $500,000 over time and then kind of sponsored his being a criminal. You know, there's a long history of this. Greg Scarpa was working with the FBI for years and they, they, they basically, the government decides, oh, we want to get these guys because they're famous and they're from, they're allegedly in the mafia. 
And that they want trophies on their wall because law enforcement, they get their funding from publicity and news stories. So they just to get the trophy on their wall, which equals funding money, they have to bring down big game, such as a big name in the so-called mafia. And so in order to do that, they make deals with serial killers and complete scum to do this. They pay them. They allow them to expand their criminal operations. And this stuff has to end. Now, Joey is pointing this out, and I want to get more into this on a, from a legal perspective. Of course, you know, Dominic at We Push Back is getting into this too. And I want to get more into this. And this is the under, this is the thing. It's like one thing to be like, you know, oh yeah, we don't like rats, but let's get to the, the, the kind of core reason of why. And let's dissect this. And let's point out that utter hypocrisy of the government and law enforcement, you know, sponsoring these guys. I mean, Sammy the Bull Gravano is a serial killer. Okay. So, and, and the thing is, okay, sure. You know, you had to get, to get John Gotti and have John Gotti die in prison. Sammy the Bull Gravano, you have to make a deal with him. But what you do is you have to remember another thing too. You are, the government is taking a serial killer and putting him into the population. That's where you're, children live that's where your wife or husband lives you know and that's what you know that's it's not just like oh wow you know he's a bad guy and we did this and we we looked the other way you're inserting a serial killer into a population you know you know uh, sammy the bull even though he won't admit it he killed an innocent year old an innocent 16 year old child you know and then under you know after he snitched he went on to become a huge uh dealer of pills in arizona and it's like, what is this, this, you know, basically the government kind of subsidizes, pays these informants and rats, and then they have to insert them back into society and they're a cancer and they spread out and they do crimes and they kill people and they, you know, deal. It's, it's, it's something we're going to get way, way more into, but this, this particular instance, we're all going to watch Joey's show tomorrow. I think it's on 1 p.m. I think that's Eastern time. I think Joey goes by Eastern time. And I think it's tomorrow, Thursday, 1 p.m. So let's check it out. And we're going to go, I'm going to go way more in depth in this. I've gone into a lot of these topics in my previous videos, but we're going to go way more in depth in the future. So get your popcorn. Tune into Joey tomorrow. Ciao. Billy Luna. Please subscribe to the Billy Luna channel and like the video. Thank you.